This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Ketash. Ketash is a tool to detect suspicious privilege NTLM activities like Pash the Hash attack. It detects on the basis of security event logs of the monitor machines and authentication events on an active directory. This tool is written in PowerShell and C Sharp and was developed by Eviatar Gerzi, who is at G3RZI on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to detect past the hash attack using Ketash tool. First, let's run the ketash.exe and enter the target computer name. Next, we need to check the illegitimate checkbox to detect users of new credentials on the target, and then we can go ahead and run the tool. We can observe that the tool has launched a PowerShell window and started listening for suspicious privileged NTLM connections on the target machine. Now, in order to simulate the pass the hash attack, let's check the victim machine's IP address and switch to the attacker machine. We're going to open Metasploit and use psexec module to launch the pass the hash attack. The R host option defines the IP address of the target machine. SMB user and SMB pass defines the username and password. After setting the values, we can run the module. We can observe that we have successfully exploited the machine and got a interpreter shell. Now let's switch back to the other machine to check the Ketash tool. We can notice that the Ketash tool has detected the pass the hash attack. In a similar manner, one can also run it locally to detect these types of attacks. But that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. Do you have an open source tool that you would like to appear on the show? Then send us the GitHub link at our email address at media at pentesteracademy.com for consideration. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Want to learn about another tool? Then click on any of these videos right over here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos.